Now, do not go to France. Do not go to California. You've got all the wine you need right here in Maryland. Nikki Mayo says Maryland Merlot is just one thing trending in 2014 around Baltimore. At number one. Cheers to a trend wine lovers in Maryland are sure to celebrate. We do what we were born to do, which is harvest grapes and make wine. Forty Vineyards is one of 64 wineries and 26 breweries cashing in on Maryland's wine and beer boom. And with six wine trails from Western Maryland to Ocean City, there are top notes and tannins to please every palate. With Chesapeake breezes rustling through the grapevines, Maryland wineries harvest 800 tons of grapes a year to make 420 different types of wine. At number two, what's wine without a nice meal to pair with? 2014 is going to be the year of the small business owner. And Union Kitchen in D.C. is one of the kitchen co-ops that's on the upswing. These communal kitchens are important to create a home and a, a place of business for these people that can't necessarily make the, the larger leap to owning a storefront. Kitchen co-ops are popping up in our area. Local chefs are sharing space and equipment to prepare food for food trucks, farmers markets, and other local eateries. Tini Lamothe gravitated to Union Kitchen for her pie business. I think DC and Baltimore, people are very interested in artisanal food, and here it's possible to create those specialty foods. And as more small businesses launch, kitchen co-ops are scheduled to crop up all across Charm City. At number three, crossing the street around downtown just may make you want to go play in traffic. The Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts mission is to spread artistic expression. So they're taking it to the streets with the Crosswalk Project. The hopscotch boards are a playful monument to the people that make downtown Baltimore what it is. A shoe prints for business people, the bird tracks for the sports fans, Orioles and the Ravens, boot prints for the workers, the footprints for the artists. These crafty crosswalks have just started showing up around the Bromo Tower Arts and Entertainment District. The artists are always the ones who move into old neighborhoods and fix up old buildings. First it's the artists and it's the architects and it's the graphic designers and they have coffee shops and before you know it, we've changed the neighborhood. And that's what's trending for 2014 in Baltimore. I'm Nikki Mayo.